Michael Smith has joined him there. The Masters finalist beating Scott Baker by six legs to three. Can the world champion join him there or will it be the former European champion, Simon Whitlock? Peter Wright looks to be moving around pretty freely. Which is the first thing to notice because on Thursday night in Nottingham he really was struggling with a foot injury. And he still managed to escape with the draw against Gary Anderson. Fifty seven. Peter Wright in the green that you would normally associate with the Wizard, although the first couple of weekends of the Pro Tour, Simon's been rocking these 100. other Win More Dart shirts. Quite like it, to be honest. Peter has been excellent. So you look at last weekend, back-to-back -back quarterfinals. 180. Averaging more than anyone over the two days. That includes players who went out in round one with enormous like averages like Luke Humphreys did with 106 in one day. It's more than Nathan Aspinall, the man who beat him in that record-breaking quarter-final on the Sunday and won the title. Averaging more than 100 over 10 matches in that first weekend. 100. So far today, a couple of averages in the 90s. But that's a 14 dart start against the Wizard. 1 0 to the world champ. 180. Simon has not made a, a stunning start to this year. Early exit at the Masters, of course. But the performances have been all right. Beat Andy Hamilton on the Saturday last week and won his game, but then lost out to Gary Anderson. Who went on to win the title. But once again, we find ourselves in a situation where there could be another nine data. Five in the opening weekend. We've already seen a couple here today. Mensor Sulevich, Danny Noppert. 140. Can the wizard Simon Whitlock produce perfection? Treble 20. I think he would have gone treble 15, double 18 after that, but... 65. Just the six perfect darts. Great response from the wizard. These two absolutely fantastic adverts 81. for what hard work and belief can do for you. Very, very few people practice more than these two. I mean, they're incredibly gifted anyway, whatever Simon Whitlock's protestations. And Peter Wright's, in fact. Oh, look at this. Another in there. No, oh, well, he moved a couple of inches to the left and the dart went straight down the new line. 82. But these two have put so many hours in trying to be the best they can be. Game show. And they've got their rewards. Double top is the reward for Simon Whitlock at the end of that leg. He levels this match up at one apiece. Both big tinkerers, these two. They'll chop and change with bits of their equipment. I'm 41. not sure it's, it's so difficult to keep up. They look like the same darts for Peter Wright that he's been using that won the world title for him. But I'm not sure if he's got a slightly different length of stem. The flights look like they might have been one of the types that he's used of late. 90. He can just group them beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Four 180s in this game already. Five 180s in this game. Or oh, no. Just the four. 120. I think they put a new board up for this game. I could hear Simon Whitlock just on the board mics talking about it. He didn't, didn't mind if it was a new one or an old one. He just wanted it to be hard. Wanted his darts to stick up in the board, not drop down. Seems to be happy with how they're going in at the minute. Peter Wright is not going to take the 140 out again. 
Treble 17. 116. Well, you're just expecting brilliance every time Peter Wright gets on the board, aren't you? Eight Maybe three. it's just our own bias, knowing that he's been seen him play so well to win the biggest title in the sport. 21. Well, three misses. Top left, far right, and at the bottom. I mean that the whiz could go bull bull. Yes, he did go bull bull. Very Whitlock that. 48. Oh, straight down the line, wasn't it? Double one. Not moving. Game Felt count. he could go over the top of it. Did exactly that. Holds his throw. We are effectively on throw. 101 average for right. 96 for Whitlock. Good contest in the opening Eight stages. Won £500,000. Half 100. a million pounds on New Year's Day, Peter, right? By winning the World Championship. The only thing he wanted was a new sound system, new speaker. Not even a new sound system, just a new speaker back home. Got everything else. One hundred and forty. Eighty-five. Not only two of the biggest tinkerers in the game, these two. And they've basically got like, well, certainly Simon Whitlock wants to have like a weird menagerie of animals. Peter Wright generally does. Dozens and 100. dozens of chickens and ducks and all sorts of stuff back in East Anglia, around Mendham sort of way, on the Norfolk Suffolk border. 139. Simon Whitlock, I don't know if he went through it, he was going to collect frogs at one point. Loves this checkout, right. Loves this checkout. Ooh, misses the ball for a 161. Rattles Whitlock's cage. Staying in that same part of the board. Now wants the double 16. 32. And misses outside. They're the ones that might have to go when you're taking on the world champion. Oh, the Robert Thornton roots for 25. And down for double two. Game shot. And the Robert Thornton roots works for the first break of throw in this one. Wins most of his contests with Whitlock. It's roughly, well, it's exactly two to one in the win ratio, although there was a draw as well. 180. 18 wins for Snakebite, nine for the Wizard. And that one draw in the Premier League. It is three maximums now for Peter Wright. They have all come on his own throw, which makes it very, very difficult for the Wizard to break him. And when you're already a breakdown, that's a problem. 140. It's even harder to break him if they back it up with a ton 40. 47. These guys in the same half of the draw as the likes of Michael Van Gerwen. It's the other half of the draw where so many big names have been knocked out. Oh, look at this. Oh. 149. Absolutely magnificent from Peter Snakebite Wright. Leaves double 16 after nine darts. We've 58. seen a 10 darter from Wesley Harms, a 10 darter from Chris Doby, a nine darter from Mensur Suljevic on this board. But we won't see a 10 data from Peter Wright just yet. Might not even see a 12 data here. 16. We won't. But in terms of the fate of the leg, it might not matter. 19. Great last start from Simon Whitlock. Uses those little steps across the Oki more frequently Game and shot. better than the vast majority of players. But... 
didn't matter in the end. A couple of big wins for Peter last year against Simon Whitlock, one at the World Match Play, one on the Euro Tour, but the last time he was beaten by Simon Whitlock, you've got to go back to October 2018. No, sorry, November 2018, the Grand Slam. 43. But that was hot on the heels of a, a defeat in October at the European Championship to the world. Back-to-back -back TV wins for Simon Whitlock against Peter Wright. Just doesn't go away, does he? Just when you think he's fading, he finds something. But he's probably going to have to find something in these Pro Tour Four, events ten. very soon. Or the Euro Tour did not qualify for the one Euro Tour that he went and played in the qualifier last night. And he's only just in the seeded positions right now, Whitlock, in these floor events. 60. Only seeded 29. That's a worrying place to be. He's obviously got the quality where even as an unseeded player he could come through, but it is, theoretically at least, easier. You're not going to be running into a Van Gerwen or Peter Wright in the very first round, so you more chance of picking up ranking money. One hundred and forty. Probably needed to fill it up to apply any real pressure on the wizard. Double sixteen. Using the bullseye to guarantee a dart at the outer ring, but it did mean that he was only able to get one dart at the outer ring. Two treble 17s for tops, or what route does he fancy going here, Peter Wright? He's looking up, up the board. Well, not going to happen. 100. Game chuck. Double A's is there. 16 dart leg for Simon Whitlock. The gap is cut to two legs, but Peter Wright only needs two more legs. And the race he's going, he's on for his first ton plus average of the day. That might drag it slightly below. 82. Well rescued from snake bite there. I can tell you that the board final is just getting started over on board 15 94. that sees the Polish Eagle, Krzysztof Ratajski, take on the Lancashire Rose, Lisa Ashton. She went out in round one in the first event. She went out in round two in the second event. She has made round three in the third event. Four-time BDO Ladies World Champion getting to grips with life in the PDC. And I tell you what, if she could win that against Ratajski, there are an awful lot of seeded players and top seeded players in that half of the draw who are no longer in the tournament. It might open up for somebody in that no, half of the draw. Fifty-seven. Forty-four. The Six. winner of this will face either Matt Clark or Adrian Lewis. A.D. Lewis, the number 13 seed. Matt Clark, who took out Jose de Souza earlier on. 137. That's nicely done by Peter Wright. This is a makeable shot but no longer for the Wizard. Another seeded player to go out in the other half of the draw, Dave Chisnell, beaten by Steve West. Steve Beaton, knocked out by Gert Nenches in a battle of quite sexy throws, those two. Must have been beautiful to watch. Game Peter ten. Wright would certainly like watching that one back. Double ten, last start in hand, 5-2. Simon Whitlock pushed to the brink. He must win four legs on the spin. Bit of magic from the wizard. Nine. 
96. Four perfect darts for Simon One Whitlock. A, he's a player who goes on little streaks in games, whether it be streaks of perfect darts, streaks of legs won, streaks of legs lost. 58. Does seem more susceptible than most of hitting peaks and troughs. 91. Needs to find a peak here, needs to stay on it. 180. Needed to fill it up, did fill it up. A fourth 180 for Peter Wright gives him a chance to win the match with a 1-6-7. He missed the bullseye for a 1-6-1 earlier on. But he will not take this out. And Simon Whitlock can stay alive. 97. And get his legs tally ticking over to three. Double 16, it has to be. 54. It is the same checkout, but it's a different route. 20 for tops. Doesn't look like it's in the way. And it's Get not in the way of that one. Peter Wright, clinical once again. The world champion.